Now I'm testing all these other games and I'm thinking, why am I testing all these other games? Surely the only thing that matters, does it play PUBG? Do you even PUBG, bro? Woo! Let's go, baby! Righto, tally ho there. Now this is the Surface Book 2. This is the 13 inch model, 8th generation Coffee Lake i7-8650U, 2 gigabyte GTX 1050. And this is my gaming review. Now in terms of gaming, and I'd like to stress, I'm just talking about gaming here. This thing blew me away because I cannot compare this to any other 13 inch laptop, gaming laptops aside. Any other 13 inch premium ultrabook laptop, this blows away in terms of gaming. And that's because it has a discrete graphics card. That's because it has the two gigabyte GTX 1050. I'm not gonna lie, I'm disappointed it's not a four gigabyte GTX 1050, but it is what it is. Regardless of that, this still blows away any other 13 inch premium ultrabook out there in terms of gaming. I have to actually compare this to a 15 inch laptop. And it's not that far from a 15 inch laptop in terms of gaming in performance ultra books i'm talking here not gaming laptops again so it really blows me away and what is unique about this is the gpu and the cpu are in separate places usually the gpu and the cpu are pretty close to each other and they share the same heat spreader or the same heat sink with this Inherent in its design is the fact that the CPU is behind the screen and the GPU is in the base. So that means they have separate cooling. It's not gonna throttle and it's not gonna get as hot as any other laptop in terms of gaming. And you'll see later, it barely cracks over 65 degrees. So that's what blows me away. I have to compare it to 15 inch laptops and actually the screen is 13.5. It, it actually feels more like a 14 inch display anyway. So it feels a bit bigger than a 13 inch. Now what you gotta look for in these gaming results, I have telemetry on the top left hand corner. Look for the video memory and you'll see that with the newer games, it will fill that two gigabytes of memory. So that's my main gripe with this. It should have been a four gigabyte GTX 1050. You would have got better performance. So basically, I'll just sum it up right now. Pretty much any game, 1080p, 60 frames per second, medium settings. The best 15 inch ultrabooks will do it at high settings around 60 frames per second. So it's not that far behind. And that two gigabytes is the limiting factor there. I don't think it's the CPU. So let's have a look at some benchmarks. You can see the benchmarks, Firestrike, etc. I'll just put them on the screen. They mean nothing to me. But let's get into the real benchmarks, the gaming benchmarks. And at the end of this video, I will tag on some gameplay at the end with GTA 5, PUBG, and you'll see some gameplay from other games as well. So let's go to the benchmarks and we have Battlefield 1, 61 frames per second, medium settings, 1080p high. And all of these benchmarks are 1080p medium settings, except for GTA 5, which is high and very high because that doesn't use much texture memory. So I could crank the settings up a bit on that. So it's actually 61.6 frames per second. So that's nearly 62 frames per second, medium settings, 1080p. How good is that for a 13 inch ultrabook? And you've got to remember that with the XPS 15, I was getting 70 frames per second. It's not that far behind when you think about it. And it's a 13 inch laptop. Now with PUBG, I got 59 frames per second. And of course with that, you do get a lot of fluctuations with the frame rate that's just the game you would know that if you play it now this is the one that really crushes everything and that's dsx mankind divided and we're getting around 35 frames per second there so for this sort of game you will have to drop down the settings to get up around the 40 50 mark and again that two gigabyte video memory was the limiting factor there and to round off the benchmarks we have call of duty world war 2 77 frames per second and it actually got up to a max of 123 so yeah world war 2 call of duty is no problems whatsoever so as you can see this can game and I can't even compare it to any other 13 inch really ultrabook. I have to compare it to 15 inch laptops and it's just amazing. It is very close to an XPS 15, although the XPS 15 has a four gigabyte 1050 and it is at the end of the day faster. But when you consider this as a 13 inch, it is quite an achievement to get it up there. And that's because of these quad core parts in here as well. So you've got the quad core, you've got discrete graphics and that's why it games so well. Now in terms of noise, 
when you see me gaming later on you can judge the noise for yourself it does get hot behind the screen but that's okay because on your lap it's not going to get hot on the base where the gpu is it doesn't really get that hot at all 65 degrees is probably the maximum you're going to get gaming and it will stay on that forever the noise it does have a different kind of noise it has more of a jet noise like sort of like a dyson hand cleaner i mean it's not as loud as that but it has that and that jet sort of noise because it's coming out of the slits in the screen there so and I also will mention this does have coil wine tooth and i will address that in my full review you can watch the gameplay now i'd like to thank you guys for watching slap a like if you like this video and why not subscribe and until next time guys tally ho So let's boogie, baby. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to hear the fans kicking as they are right now. Right. And look at this, this is 1080p, very high in high settings. 70 frames per second, 75 frames per second on a 13 inch laptop. That is amazing. It really is amazing. And you'll see it very rarely gets into the 70s. It's mostly in the 60s. Um, and yeah, alright. It's not exactly quiet. But what gaming laptop is quiet? And I don't notice any real issues with ghosting or input lag or whatever. If you come from a high refresh rate monitor, yeah, you will notice it. But... If you've just been gaming on 60 hertz displays, you're not going to notice anything bad about this. I don't see any massive issues with ghosting. It's a really good screen, so the games look fantastic on this. Now, what you'll notice is it's 1080p, but it's stretched, so it's not cropped, so it does look a little bit weird. Um, I guess it's better being stretched than um, cropped because when it's cropped it looks really small and I'm like three meters away and this is tiny so um, you really have to be close to game on this sort of 13.5 inch laptop there. But it acts more like a 14 inch display anyway. <laughs> Oh, no. Mm. But look at that, the constant 70 frames per second, 1080p. Oh my god. It's... And the reason why this can carry through those 70 frames per second, um, or at least in the 60s, uh, is because, one, you're not using all the video memory. GTA 5 doesn't. As you can see, it's using a 1600 megabytes or 1.6 gigs of memory. Whereas the newer games, they will max out the 2 gigabytes of video memory. And that's where you'll see a little bit of slowdown there. And that's where you'll have to lower down the textures a bit to get those frame rates up a bit. So you, you will have to play on those sort of games, medium settings, to get you know the sort of frame rate you want. 
Because the GPU and CPU are separated, you're never going to get throttling. Look at it, 60. It's never going to get really hot. That's because most laptops designed, the CPU and GPU are together. So they use the same heat spreader or same heat sink. This one, separate. GPU in the base, CPU in the screen. You're not going to be sharing the heat between the two, so the cooling is much more efficient that way. So you're never going to throttle, you're going to get these 60 frames per second on most games. Some games you'll get at high settings, other games you'll get it. you'll have to do medium settings um, and some really demanding games like say, you know, DSX Mankind, you may have to lower some other settings too if you want the 60 frames. But generally, 60 frames per second, medium settings, you can probably say this is. So it can boogie. And the only thing holding it back is not having 4 gigabytes of RAM. And tell me another 13 inch laptop that can play modern titles, 60 frames per second, 1080p. Like medium or high. Tell me any other 13 inch that does that. Apart from gaming 13 inches like obviously Alienware and stuff like that. There's not many, I can tell you. And there's definitely no ultra books that can do it. Like, most of them don't even have discrete graphics. This is fantastic. It really is. It's amazing. And I could go all day. I'm going to stop now. That's not going to throttle. Um, you see the frame stress just dropping a bit. That is not because this is throttling, that's just GTA. It depends what time of the day it is. GTA 5 does have um, optimization issues, so, shall I say. <coughs> it not always has consistent frame rates. It doesn't matter what hard you're at, hardware you're on. So. Anyway, we'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching guys. I think you'll see that this is a gaming beast. I mean, for a 13 inch laptop, you, you cannot complain. Um, it's expensive, but I wish it did have the four gigabytes of memory, but it doesn't. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I really wish it was four gigabytes. Then the modern titles would, you know, they wouldn't fill up the uh, video memory. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get arrested. Oh, see you next time guys. Sally, ho. Oh. Now I'm testing all these other games and I'm thinking, why am I testing all these other games? Surely, the only thing that matters, does it play PUBG? Do you even PUBG, bro? Woo! Let's go, baby! Man, it's hard to play this far away, like two, maybe three meters away on a 13 inch screen, 13.5 inch. Yeah, you have to be close. Anyway, you can hear the fans there. Let's go, baby. And generally, it'll get up around the 60, ooh, cut up couple of frame stutters there but it's not throttling that is I would say the texture memory limit there as you can see it's using a whole two gigabytes of its memory now um, maybe it might be a good idea to and that's probably because it's raining now I've noticed that yeah it depends what effects Usually I'll be getting 60 frames per second. Obviously now it's raining. There's a bit more memory being used. Um, <coughs> or it's just PUBG being PUBG. It likes to... Um, it likes to just fluctuate. And now 
this is where the reflections come into play. I will actually close my window right here. I do not want reflections while I'm in these dark rooms. Now, obviously, I have to use the controller because uh, I cannot get next to the keyboard and film at the same time. And yeah, trying to use the controller. Oh, God. How do people use the controller? I don't have that pack back. Backpack, that would be not. Oh, I have that. Thank you very much. So I've got a helmet. We've got a sort of decent gun. I know it's only a handgun, but, but this has got some stopping power. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> Let's go up the stairs. We've got some stairs. Where are you, stairs? Oh, baby! And how do I switch weapons? Okay. Need oh, some bullets. Some ammo. Now, I did notice a little bit of tear in there, but uh, yeah, obviously. It's not G Sync or whatever. Tiny bit of tear in I don't notice ghosting. Although, I will be very happy when I go back to my 140 hertz monitor. But if you game on 60 hertz monitors now, you, you're going to think this is absolutely, absolutely fine. Um, it looks fantastic on this display because um, this is a really beautiful display. And as you'll notice, it is a bit stretched. Mm, let's go, baby. Can't get out. You know. How do I change it to first mode? I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to have to use the keyboard here. Uh, no, that'll be right. A bit more ammo. It's very pliable, it's nice and smooth. Um, all things considered, I mean, it performs very similar to a um, XPS 15, although you will have to drop from most likely high settings to medium in most games. GTA 5, you can have it high setting, very high, it doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, most of the modern titles that are going to fill that 2 gigabytes of um, video memory there, you will definitely need to put it down to medium, just because you can probably in the sun there in the background. Don't come in here. I don't want you to get addicted to PUBG, bro. Do those jackets give you any extra protection, I wonder? Oh, that's a controller. Oh, level two, baby. Now, you definitely want to use a headset because I don't know how you're going to hear any enemies around here um, with this fan noise. So, definitely want to be using a headset. This is probably the house I already went in. But it's never gone up throttle. It hardly ever goes over 70. I'd say it's a mid 60 degrees. That's about it. It's not going to throttle over that. You can probably hear my psycho sound in the background. I mean, sorry, not throttle. It's never going to be over um, mid 60s. I saw it once or twice creep up to 70. Um, 
but that was just for a fleeting moment and it's happy to game all day at mid 60s and by the way it is friggin hot in this room actually it was a pretty warm day um, I haven't got the airco on so yeah the ambient temperature in here would be high 20s probably so if I had the airco on obviously I'm recording around when the airco on if I had the airco on where's the circle I better get moving eh if I had the echo on, it would be um, probably less, or either the temperature would go down, or the fans would go lower, one or the other. Let's see if I can find a car. Did I need one? So I would be happy to use this as a mobile PUBG machine, no doubt about it. And actual fact, even though it's only medium texture settings, everything else is low, but the textures are medium, it actually looks good on a 13 inch screen. If you had a big screen, yeah, it would probably look a bit ordinary, but on a um, 13 inch screen, it does look pretty good. So I can't complain. We're at 60 FPS with all these rain effects and yeah, so you know you get the normal fluctuations that you do with PUBG. Hey, you're not allowed to in here. You're not allowed to come in here. I'm gonna have to wrap this game up. What is this? Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. How do you know what it is? I'm going to have to wrap this up now. What? You got the what? What's that? Is that you? So that is me, and I'm just going for a leisurely walk. What is this? No, no, don't touch that. Hey. Oh! Why? Why? I'm filming it. Alright, before this gets violent, I've got to turn this off. Check in the next one. So I'll just cut in here, um, just to tell you, have a look. See, it's going orange, that means it's sort of near the limits. I guess, I think that's what it means. But it's still gaming, no problem. Um, frames have dropped a little bit but that's just PUBG I'd say and where I am, the foliage and stuff like that 